everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom, and as promised, I am bringing you another bag from my personal collection. And what I have here is the number 4905. If you recall, the bag that I showed this past Wednesday, if you watched that video, if you haven't, go check it out. Um, but it was 4907. But this is a 4905 Sonoma Small Drawstring Natural Grain. So the difference between the bag that I showed you um, this week, I actually have it here, is um, Zip Top Drawstring. They're pretty much the same size. They're not same in any way, shape, or form as far as like, you can see this has a circle bottom, this has a ovalish bottom this bottom yeah, I guess it's a little bit solid it's not too hard this one's a little harder but they're both part of the Sonoma line they both have that natural green pebbled leather this one has gotten a lot more wear and so it's it's even like softer and slouchier than the 4907 the red one that I showed you but um yeah both lined this one's just it's drawstring and uh, they don't refer to it as a bucket bag, but I'll tell you when I was searching for something like this, I was searching for a bucket bag. I might have also used Drawstring as my search tools. It's one of the first vintage coach bags that I have purchased, um, and I used it and still do a lot. It's one of my favorites. Um, again, I love a bucket bag. And even though it's like listed as small, this thing will hold so much so much like I'll carry diapers and wipes and then everything else that I carry toys and sometimes I'll throw water bottles in there for the boys whatever so as you can see from this catalog photo um, how I have it right now it's kind of like how the bag is shown he has this adjustable strap here um, I can make it a lot longer but I pretty much leave it at the length I have it here there's a lot of room for adjustment and I personally just wear mine open. So, show you. I don't have anything in it either right now. Like this thing will really load up. But this is my bucket bag, my own personal bucket bag. It's probably one of the bags, maybe a, a few others, um, that started me on my own admiration for vintage coach I just it's it's just awesome and it's simple um but yeah I wear it crossbody probably not the most appropriate way to wear this I could even wear it maybe a little bit longer that's more so I do that out of convenience let's um I'm gonna cinch it back with that drawstring again I don't really wear it this way but let's see how that looks because I guess technically a lot of people like their bags to be closed so and that's how it looks. There's actually a smaller size bag. I actually have one. I just haven't rehabbed it yet. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head that drawstrings like that. It has that look. But anyways, yeah. Same lining on the inside. This particular one doesn't have any zippers on the outside, so it doesn't have that little coach zipper I'd shown you about the Sonoma line. There is a zipper pocket on the inside of this bag though. Um, that zips into this lining here. So, yes, love one of my favorite bags. It's so soft. So here I have um, this charm. It's actually just linked to the drawstring. It's not linked to hardware and it works pretty well linked to the bag like this. I like to wear my Rexy charm on this bag too. Uh, or one of my Rexy charms, but um, the feathers for me are, they represent my dad. Um, he had a nickname and it was called Tommy Two Feathers. And it might not be what you think it's from, but he, um, he was a goofy guy and he loved to golf and he wasn't very good at it. But I guess there was a day that he um, hit his ball into the woods and he went to go retrieve it and took him forever to come back out and when he did come back out he had two feathers on his hat that he had found in the woods while he was trying to hit the ball out of the woods which he was not doing very well so um 
just people thought it was funny. And um, from his friends, they nicknamed him Tommy Do Feathers. And I think about my dad when I look at feathers. So there's that. I don't know if you noticed, um, I've shared with you a couple, a few of the bags that I have in my own personal collection. So we have this bucket style bag, a Sonoma bucket bag. Um, I've shared with you one of my personal favorites, which is a waste pack. It's the double turn lock waste pack. That's not the name of it, but um, I have a video on it where I actually showcased a few different waste packs. So um, check that out if you have it. But the waste pack, any waste pack is my favorite. I like to wear them crossbody. It's a great hands-free bag, obsessed. Um, I've also shown you my side pack, which is the large side pack. That's not the technical name because there's a side pack and then there's a small side pack. But I have a side pack that is forest green, I believe, or no, I'm sorry, it's not forest green, it's bottle green. I have that in my collection and, um, and I've shown you that video as well. Uh, oh, and I also showed you my red camera zip. And from all of those bags, I don't know if you've gathered, they're just not very girly bags, are they? They're not really fancy. They're not bags that I would wear out when, you know, I'm going to, if I'm going to on a date or a nice dinner. I mean, honestly, I haven't done much of that lately. Um, the bag that I used to wear out a lot, I'm actually, I have it for sale. It's actually a Dolce & Cabana bag. Um, and I no longer wear that, um, but I just also don't go out. Um, yeah, my, my bags tend to be pretty, I think, gender neutral, um, just very basic. It's what I gravitate towards personally. I've got a few other bags in my collection. Um, the next one I've kind of mentioned before, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I will eventually be sharing it with you and it's what I consider my fancy bag. It's actually a bag that I thought I was gonna collect every color of. I stopped myself from doing that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm pretty crazy about this bag. I think it, it just like incorporates all the things that I really love about all of these vintage coach items and um yeah it's one of my favorites so if you want to know what that bag is subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video when i put it out okay i appreciate you watching and uh commenting and liking so thanks bye, -bye.